that for a while. I now. thought when I saw it, I was like, that'd really suit you. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, thinking about it. Because mm. I saw I saw close on Instagram. She had like really dark hair. Mm. I don't know. I do. I genuinely think it'd really suit you. Yeah. What do you think, I? Martin? Sorry. Sorry. What? <laughs> about going black. What? Like, like African? <laughs> <laughs> no. Like I'm thinking about dyeing my hair. What do you think? Do you think black would suit me? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I mean, you, you look good uh, now, but yeah, I, I think you look good black. Yeah. <laughs> What up bitches? Ah, you finally arrived and you brought a Paul. More importantly, I brought a Paul who bought alcohol. So we were just talking about going black. Like African. Hair colour dickhead. Oh. oh yeah, I was going to go black. But then I realised that it had been done by like, everyone. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I saw this cave on the way up. It looked pretty spooky. We could check it out later. Can we not just stay here and get pissed? Don't fancy getting killed tonight. That'd be fun. Plus, we have men. We are men. We are here to protect young women from the predators on this hallowed night. We have boys. <laughs> we need wood. Bit forward, but I ain't gonna say no. You didn't bring wood last time. What makes you think you can now? <laughs> <laughs> I brought wood. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna get wood then? Yeah. Leave your girls to gossip. Come on, man. I brought it. So I've got a confession. Ooh, drama. I get the feeling that Paul wants something to happen between us tonight. Paul wants to cut with everyone. Yeah, but he's been texting me a lot more recently and we keep, well, he keeps hugging me and making sexual innuendos any chance that he gets. Well, do you like him like that? I don't know. It's Paul. What about him? I mean, we hooked up, but it didn't really seem like he's interested. He is. He's been waiting for you to get back to him. I don't know. I didn't really think it was a connection. I mean, I get he's your brother and all that, and I don't want to lead anyone on, but I don't know. You know what I mean? No, I don't think I do. This is awkward. <laughs> Shots. So you're hooking up with Isla tonight? No. Um, why would I? Uh, cause you fancy her. I think she's all right. All right, you, she's smoking. And I think she likes you too, but you know, just my opinion. She's all right, but she's not really my type. Not your type? I would chop off my own arm to be with her. No, fuck that, chop off both arms. All my limbs just for one night with her. She's my friend. That's all. And could be more than your friend if you just grew up her and told her. I'd rather save myself the embarrassment. Fine. Throw away the opportunity. I'm sure you get plenty more. Say if you did say something, what would you say? Yo, Isla, Martin wants to fuck you. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I don't know, just make sure you have some time alone. Me and Marissa are probably going to hook up tonight, so just get Denise in on the action. And then uh, you and Isla all alone. I don't know, I'd rather just wait and see how the night... Too late. Plans are already in motion. Yeah. yeah but um, when, what, when, when, when you're in a car. When you're in a car. <laughs> what are you doing? Yes. Yeah. Oh, come on, guys. Start shots without us. I say we're going down to the cave now. Do we have to? Well, I tell you what. Why don't me, you, and Denise head down there first, and Martin and Isla can stay up here, sort the uh, sort the fire out so it doesn't blow out, and join us down there later. Or we could just all help up here, get it done faster, and then I'll go down to the cave. I don't mind actually. I could use a minute to sort myself out after that shot. Fine, but I'm holding the flashlight. Yeah, because that's going to save you from a mass murderer. Not funny. Great. Let's go. Oh, it's all right. I've got her. Oh, <laughs> you're sweet. So how's Martin? Martin's good, thank you. Good? Yeah. Should we just stay up here and sack those guys off? Um. Let's have a shot. I, are you sure? Yeah, come on. We've not done one together yet. I um, mean... Look, I'll be fine. Let's have another one. What are we toasting to? Uh, good company. Yeah, great company. Yeah, great company. <laughs> You're a good guy, Martin. I don't know what I'd do without you. I like you. I like you too, Isla. No, like, you know. Isla, I think, I think that last shot went too ahead of it. <laughs> no, I know what I'm doing. I, I just. What? 
Nothing. I thought you liked me. I do like you. I just, uh, you're a bit drunk. I know, I'm talking about mine. <laughs> Whoa, were you two gonna. <laughs> no, we were. Yeah, man. <laughs> we were just about to come and find you guys. About yeah. time you do got it on. Oh, shut up, Marissa. What? Just fuck off. <laughs> All right, no need to be a bitch. The only bitch around here is you. Guys, come on. So because I'm stating the obvious, I'm a bitch. No, because you don't give a shit about anyone else but yourself, that makes you a bitch. Is this because I won't fuck your brother? Rissa! <laughs> bitch! I just had a red dream. What was it about? Just don't, okay. Go back to sleep. I don't know. I think she's going a bit crazy. Who? Mrs. Frey. She threw a book at Callum West last week because he had his assignment in a day late. What? It's a bit harsh, isn't it? I think she's going through a midlife crisis, which sucks because I'm going away in two weeks and I have no room for her. What, you aren't told her yet? No, but she's going to be pissed and. I don't know, it just means I have to work my ass off until I leave. Or you could just not do it. <laughs> yeah, that works too. But I mean, I can't just... Can't what? Sorry, what? You alright? Yeah, I'm fine, I wouldn't be. Third day in a row, Miss Sutton's chicken wings now. What? No, don't matter. Just chatting shit. Um, how's your day going? Alright, I guess. Alright. Um, well, so tonight I'm thinking, uh, do you want to catch a late movie or go out for a meal or something? Get away from uh, this. Okay. Clearly, that's what you want to do. I'm uh, glad we're on the same page. What? Look, Denise, I know what today is, and I just think it'd be good for us if we got away from, you know, this and uh, had a night out or something. I'll do whatever. Can I watch? Leave me the fuck alone. Denise, don't walk. Yeah, don't bother. Denise, don't walk away from me. What? Look, I know it's hard and I appreciate what you've done for me, but you need to get over yourself and move on. Quit writing me bullshit notes. It reminded me of it every day, it's sick. What's going on? I haven't written you anything, I don't know what you're on about. Bullshit, no one else knows what we did. Or was it you? What? I ain't got a clue what you're talking about. Look, just let it go, it's over and done with. How can you be so inconsiderate? I'm not, I'm just trying to get on with my life. You killed her! Keep your voice down. If you say anything like that again, you'll regret it. Look, I can't live with this girl. I thought I could, but it just follows me every day. And you don't think I carry it? It should. You should be locked up for what you did. Look, I told you I'm not going to admit it. The best thing you can do is just keep your mouth shut. Look, Marissa, just go. Babe. What? Look, I know it's hard, but she's right. How can you say that? Because no matter what we do, we're only going to make things worse. If we turn her in, yeah, she goes down, but so do we for lying. At least I can live with a clear conscience. I can't do this anymore. Look, no matter what happens, we need to try and move on together. I'm in this with you. If you were, you wouldn't be saying that, would you? Oh, is she dead? No, sh she can't. Marissa, what the fuck have you done? I d it was an accident. I didn't Back know. Back away from her. I didn't know she was going to hit her oh, head. Fuck, fuck. What are we going to do? It was an accident. I didn't mean to. I didn't know she was going to fall. You pushed her and she hit her head. No, I, I didn't. It was. An, I didn't know she was going to hit her head. Paul, right. call an ambulance. Stop, no, call? I don't want just Wait, what are we going to say happened? That you pushed her and she hit her head. No. But what if? But I didn't mean to. What if we said that she tripped and hit her head, and then no one's to blame? But you did this. What if I said that I saw you trying to kiss her and when you got rejected, you got upset? You pushed her, caused me to hit her head. Why would you do that? What the fuck, Marissa? That's messed up. Look, I told you I'm not going down for this. You know I'll go to jail for life, maybe. I mean, if I'm going down, you're all coming down with me. Hi. 
What do you want? I need to talk to you. I told you to leave me alone. Please, Martin. You're the only one I can talk to right now. Why have you come here? I just needed to talk to someone who understands, you know? Understands? I just don't know what to do. And you think I do? Look, what we did was wrong. And I can't hold it in any longer. It's killing me. People keep telling me to just leave it and move on. And I can't. And I know you feel the same. I mean, look at you. What are we supposed to do? Confess. And you really think she's going to accept that? And not make up some bullshit story that pins it all on us? I thought you cared more. Am I the only one that cares? I loved her. Do you, do you not think this is hard for me? There's nothing I want more than for Marissa to get what she deserves. But you know she'll twist everything. And with Daddy paying the bills, the cops won't know who to believe, will they? We'll be in a worse state than we are in now. There's no point. But if we do this together... I think you should leave. I loved you too, you know. She always has. If you really loved her, you'd do the right thing. For your sake. This is hard. I just feel numb. I don't know what to do. You always do the right thing. Remember when I was 10? And I stole Nancy Cartwright's bike. Cause she had a pink one and I had a hand-me-down one from my brother. I told you about it. You made me take it back and you made me tell her. And I was so angry at you. But I knew it was the right thing to do. Cause you always do the right thing. And that's what makes you you. You weren't even supposed to be there that night. I made you come and now look. It wasn't your fault. I keep having these dreams, these nightmares, and for everyone around me, it's getting easier. And I envy them for it. I hate her and I hate what she's done to you. And I know I need to do something, I just don't know what. You always made the right decision. So, what are we gonna do?